Welcome to the Jenga training video. My name is Kim, and in this video, I will be showing you how to integrate beautiful interactive charts to a Jenga project. First, we need to create a folder where our charts components will be added to. Right click on the folder and add a class called Chart1. Jenga chart class attribute with the chart component location as the first parameter and the component name as second parameter. Implement the iJenga chart interface. The Jenga chart interface implements the getColors method, which contains the legend name as a parameter and returns a list of colors. This gives the programmer options to customize different colors per legend. The Jenga chart interface also implements the getLabels method, which returns a list of strings. This will be used as the x-axis labels. To add a chart series, simply create a public method, which returns a list of double, which contains the values respective to the labels. Add the Jenga chart series, containing the chart type as the first parameter and its legend name as the second parameter. You can return computed values or fetch the data from the database. Jenga supports multi-series charts, simply add more methods. The series order will be based on the order of the methods. Okay, in this example, we will add a line chart and bar chart to show comparison of quarterly revenue of a company. First, let's add the labels. On the getLabels method, simply return the annual quarters. For the charts, let's begin with current revenue. Create a method called getCurrentRevenue. Select the chart type to bar chart. Add the legend name as current. For the values, we can connect to a database or an API, but for this example, let's just return random values as the revenue. Now let's add the second series to show the previous revenue. Create a method called get previous revenue. Select the chart type to line chart. Add the legend name as previous. Also return random values as the revenue values. Now launch Jenga and generate the code. Switch to Visual Studio and rebuild the code. You will notice the new chart is now available in the toolbox. Simply drag and drop the new chart to the form. Congratulations, you have successfully integrated charts to your Jenga project. We have learned some basic first steps with Jenga charts. I should highlight the fact that this has been very basic as each of the components we have used within this video have many options, features and customizations available as indicated. Please let me remind you that you may visit the link in the description below to download Jenga.net and also get access to the documentation. I hope this video was useful to you, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching.